So this particular Civil War letter is really interesting. It's got a lot of great content, and of all the ones that we got in this in this uh, batch here at Gannon's Antiques, this is one of the more interesting ones. Although I don't know, they're all interesting. It's really nice to hear uh, the kind of the day-to-day -day account and what actually happened from somebody who was there. This was written by Colonel Chandler. Uh, sorry, not Colonel, Captain Chandler to his uh, aunt. And it's dated August 1864, so we're get coming to the closer to the end of the war. And he's talking about being in, a, it was in Mobile, Alabama. And he's talking about that they ran the blockade. And he talks about how many rebels there were and the arms and uh, that they, that the rebels left in a hurry and blew up the works and that Admiral I'm not sure. It's not quite Ferguson. I'd have to really research to find out which admiral was there then. Ran the blockade on the 5th of August, and he was there and he saw the fight. It was a grand sight, if there is such in the army. Um, the rebel, something they had to put up the white flag, and there was lots of cheering from boat to boat. So that would be pretty neat. Um, and then uh, and it, and it keeps going, and then he talks about um, other things, and then being the first to land, and having a march, and having a camp close to the rebels, um, but that they don't dare come out, and that um, some of the some of the rebels come come and just give themselves up and say that they're tired of fighting when they know they're whipped anyway. Um, and then it says, our boys have gave them a good shelling now and then, meaning the camp. And then it said, Monday night, the Rebs gave us a good shelling. And as luck had it, not a man was hurt. And goes on to talk some more. These are really, really, I think, awesome letters. Oh, I've had a lot of Civil War letters, and most of them are about the weather and maybe a, a line or two about the war, but these are mostly about the war. Uh, uh, and then it also has the envelope that was sent with it. Um, I'll show you more. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, and you can see them. And you can also go to our website, gannonsantiques.com. If you've got something you'd like to sell, I'm always looking for historical memorabilia.